Mom and Dad keep telling me to go out and play. Thank God. I, I thought... I thought the Shaw Gang was going to kill all the hostages in the bank. You were amazing. Thank you. We wouldn't have made it without you. Listen, I, I have nothing. Less than nothing. My family moved here from Sidonia, hoping for a better life. <laughs> Sometimes I just feel cursed. And I... I could live with that if it was just me. But Simone? And little Liv? <laughs> so many people here look past my family being UC and are just... like that. Kind. A real sense of community. I just need a job and we could be happy here. Sorry, I... Uh, you should feel good, super good, about what you did at Galbank. You want to talk about anything? A man should provide for his family, not drag them down along with him. I've got to do better. We've been given as much charity as I can stomach. Without the low house... I mean, there's something, but it's a hell of a thing to ask. As dark as things are, there are so many good people out there. Simone, my wife, has got a cousin, Milena Exelrod. Truthfully, I never much cared for Milena. But she runs freight, and I know her routes sometimes take her this way. Milena is family. Might be she'd do something for her kin. I'm looking for a job, and I'll do anything. Well, anything legal. Milena's United Colonies, like us, and I know she's got problems of her own with Aquila City. <sighs> you are an answer to our prayers. Milena called Simone yesterday. I'm pretty sure she's still in the system. Just giving me any hope. It's a lot. the fleet doesn't get the juices flowing. You're doing it wrong. <sighs> it's supposed to be safe around here, but Cheyenne has always been just a giant bastard to me. Uh, <clears throat> unless you're a native. In which case, oh my god, I love what you've done with the place. Ha! I knew it! I knew it! Damon should have told me. 
Her and Marco are so damned proud. I'd love to help them out. Might be I've got a <laughs> checkered history with the fine city of Aquila. If you clear up any lingering hard feelings, then I could resume doing business there. I'd set up Stick Up As Us Marco as my official importer. Then wins all around. Well, two paths, I see. The trade authorities got a fixer named Tom Starrett. He might be able to facilitate things. Or Mayor Cartwright. God, that windbag. Well, <laughs> if he'd take a sorry, that would work. Fat chance. Either way, I expect credits will be on the line. On the back end, I could afford to give you a taste of the action. Not sure it'll cover the fees. You're brave. I mean, obviously, with all the yoo-boo out there. Marco doesn't deserve you. But Simone, she's one of the good ones. You square things away. Just let Marco know. Get really grossed out by blood, but I'm used to it. You're now. standing on one of the oldest inhabited planets in the settled systems, Milena Axrod. I wished I'd never heard that name again. She's a menace. She punched me in the face. Can you imagine? Why would you want to let her back here? What? Oh, that, that's terrible. Listen, I feel for the uh, Jansons. If it was just the fisticuffs, I could look the other way. But we caught her smuggling red-handed. She's been blacklisted for good reason. But legally, if you pay off a bounty, I can't stop her from coming back. But we'll be watching her. I'd like to think that, but... I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Hey, hey, I'm just trying to be careful here. That's what I'm hoping. Nobody wants that. This really is against my better judgment, but fine. She can come back. <sighs> I need a drink. Milena contacted me. She's making me her official importer. I'm not sure how much it pays, but I'll take it. You have no idea what you've done. I figured it might be something like that. I'll make sure to keep my distance from any of that. I can't wait to tell Simone. This is the first ray of sunshine we've seen in years. 